Hey Eagle Run 2-3 here. So I didn't really get much feedback on my last video. It, it just wasn't seen by very many people, but um, I do have a bit of an update on that situation and we're gonna get into uh, an unboxing here. Got some parts for the truck. And the truck is actually not here. Here is my lovely loaner car. This is a, an old Camry. It's been doing great, been driving it all week. Uh, so let's talk about the truck. Um, so I call, I took it back to the shop after that last video and it's been there uh, this week. They had the transmission out again and go, went through it again. But let me tell you something interesting that I heard him say, and I don't know if he slipped up or what, but he said this transmission. Now that's a bit concerning for me. So I am thinking that he took my transmission out put a different transmission in, and then it had its own set of problems. But he definitely told me he rebuilt it, and he definitely charged me for rebuilding it. And then this time he said he rebuilt it, and he said this word, he said this transmission, and then he said, I have your transmission back in there. So between the use of this and your transmission, I feel like he had a different transmission in my truck. And I don't know why that should be a secret or why he wouldn't just say that. Like, oh, I got another one that was rebuilt and I put it in. I feel a little shady about that. I don't think that's, I don't know. What do you think about this situation? I'm not gonna blast this shop yet because for one, he still has my truck. And so I don't want to uh, have any problems there. I uh, am definitely a little leery about what's going down. And I just, I really just need this transmission to be solid because it's, it's pivotal to what's happening next and thus all the parts that are sitting here on this little table. Um, so let me set the camera up and uh, we'll go into the uh, unboxing of some front end parts here. But um, I would love to hear from you on what you think about what's going down with my transmission. Um, I really just need some help and some advice. And if he was going to put a different transmission in there, then I, I, I wish he would have just, I, I wish I could, I could have bought a B&M transmission that's like, you know, good for like 500 horse for like, you know, 1200 bucks. And then would he not have taken 500 bucks to put a new one in? Um, that would have been about the same price as what I paid. So I don't know. I just, I wish that would have gone down a little bit differently. Now I'm, now I'm in my second week of driving, you know, I had a rental two weeks ago and then, um, now I'm driving this one. So anyway, let's get the camera set up and we'll do some unboxing. Okay, so let's do uh, some unboxing here. This is from uh, TRQ. I don't know if anyone has ordered from them before. I think it's supposed to be like truck, but it's TRQ and then they made it stand for trusted, reliable quality. We will see about that. All right, so in here we have Hmm, not a room. Okay, so we have two sets of these uh, wheel bearing hub assemblies. Uh, one for the left and one for the right. Check these things out. I did read some reviews and people acted like it was pretty decent. Um, I wish I knew more about what I was looking at here. I know we got ABS on this truck, so I got an ABS line. I sure hope that fits what I have, but we got two sets of those. Okay, and then these big old dudes are the lower control arms. So one of the cool things that I've noticed here is that they have the they have the ball joints like that are already pressed in, which is part of the reason why I wanted to go ahead and replace the entire assembly. So these bushings up here on my truck are definitely no good. And when you look at the price of these and considering if I have to press these out, I don't know. Maybe you maybe you do, maybe you don't. This is um all new to me. Um but the bushings and then the um the ball joints i don't have a ball joint press so i figured well i know i can rent one but i might as well replace the whole thing since i need this and this so that was kind of my thought on getting the entire assembly 
Now my truck has a uh, torsion bar suspension. So that goes right in there. I've decided that I am gonna go ahead and do a two inch lift on my truck as well, which I haven't, haven't mentioned that to you guys yet, but um, I don't know, the, uh, I don't even know what this stuff is made out of. I'm sure it's steel, it's super duper heavy. One thing I'd like to go ahead and mention at this point is I've received like six total boxes from this company, three separate orders. I ordered and then I added and then I added again because this project is just completely out of control. And the shipping on the TRQ is uh, less than less than dependable. Um, you're probably going to get your item pretty quick, but whether or not it arrives damaged will be another issue. Um, these these were okay, but they are I mean they're 40 pounds or more. So the way that they package them, putting a giant heavy item in the box with a bunch of the bubble mail or stuff, the just the pouches of air. These things bounce around all over, and I haven't really inspected them to see if they're damaged or not. But um, yeah, that's the lower control arms. That was the right hand side, and I'm hoping that this one is the left hand side. Uh, LH, right there. Okay, so we got a right and left lower control arm. Okay, here's the next case in point. This is uh, two CV axles. These are the drive axles for the four wheel drive. And uh, you'll notice something very interesting about this package. Yep, you can see right in there and there is nothing inside. All right, let me get this open. Okay, so funny, the uh, UPS truck just pulled up and look what they brought us. They brought us the missing axle. So perfect timing on that situation. So this is the one that they just dropped off. And it is the one that was supposed to be in there, I guess. All right, UPS truck is pulling away. I could not have timed that any better. So somewhere in UPS land is a front drive axle for a Ford. But um, the company was really nice and decided to just send me a new one right away. You know what? The funny thing is, let me tell you this. They did not even ask for any proof or pictures or anything. And I have pictures. I can put them up on the screen here for you of what the packaging looked like. And you can see that box that I just showed you. But so the, the packaging is just, I mean, there's nothing impressive about the packaging at all. Now uh, you're shipping four wheel drive components, but you think a company that is basically an online part selling company would have this figured out. You know, how do you ship a 40 pound axle? Well, what they're doing is not working or maybe it is working and maybe you just lose a few and that's just the cost of doing business. I don't know, but um, we'll inspect those boots and make sure there's no rips, but it, it looks like it's fine. Um, looks like it's fine. I wish, I wish they could have shipped it a little bit better, but anyway, there's two front CV axles. Okay, so in this last box, we have quite a few parts. We have uh, tie rod ends, an upper control arm. Now this is actually the exact same reason that I bought the lower control arm was because the bushings are bad. So the, uh, the bushings on my truck up here are totally toast. And then the ball joints already installed. So when you look at the price, it's not that much more expensive to just get the entire unit. And then I guess you kind of know that you're in a better spot. Hopefully that's the idea, but we have two left and right upper control arms. There are four total of these end links and I believe, no, they are different part numbers. So probably two of that part number, 134, 135, 133, and 132. That's great. All set. Also, as you would imagine, toast on my truck is the sway bar links. So I figured while you got it all apart, might as well replace those. Got a left hand and a right hand. And then these are the adjuster screws, I think is what they would be called. Um, they go in the middle of the tie rod ends. So 
we'll, we'll do a video on that. I'm, I'm not going to show you how to do this because I've never done it before, but we'll talk about it and hopefully work on it a little bit together. So, um, yeah, if you have done something like this or if you've, I, you know, I feel like I've watched every video on YouTube about these, um, these parts, but uh, if there's something you think I haven't seen, go ahead and leave a link in the comments and I'll definitely check it out. I'm going to be working on this in the next week or so and uh, I'll put a video up as soon as possible. It will not be a how-to video. Um, in fact, I might have some questions. I would love for some participation in the comments for you guys to um, kind of let me know what you've seen. Um, do you have any advice on my transmission situation? Um, does anyone want to talk me out of doing a two-inch lift on this thing? Uh, it's got leaf springs in the back. So I'm gonna get a block, two blocks in the back, and the front is torsion bar. So I'm gonna buy a two inch torsion bar key. I have to take the torsion bar out anyway because um, I'm doing the lower control arms. So I figure I might as well just put a new key in there. Hopefully my torsion bars aren't bad. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be. But all right, well, there's the unboxing of the parts and the project is coming soon. So. Uh, the next video you see, I'm hopefully taking this thing apart unless I might film a video when I pick the truck up and uh, give you a first drive on the rebuilt transmission. Um, in retrospect, I wish I, in retrospect, I wish I would have marked my original transmission so I would have known if he was swapping it, but you just, you don't think about those things in advance. Um, man, I don't know. All right, well, I guess that's what I have for today. You'll run two, three. Thanks for watching.